Okay, today's <laughs> today's how-to video, we are going to talk about stone chips. Bloody stone chips, the bane of every uh, motorcyclist's life on their new bikes. So what I've decided to do, rather than spend out fortunes on uh, on venture shielding and all the rest of it, um, I want to protect my fancy RCV mudguard. It can be a pain to fit this stuff. I've done it before on my tank. I have some panels here which I cut out and did for this. Um, so I've learned a little bit on that experience. Um, but it's the, the trick is to do it in small pieces and if you're going over a big curve, do it in some small sections. Um, so we're going to put, I'm basically going to film up these side pieces and the front edge here. So first of all we need to get a template for the for the for the shape we want um so i've been using bits of paper cutting them out resting it over there drawing round um getting an, a, a perfect uh, perfect size and here's what we have we have a couple of pieces for each side of the mudguard um so looking at this piece this that was a piece to go on like that so i've made a template out of uh, out of paper I've, uh, there you go, just like that, just to protect that paintwork. I've already fitted this one to this side. There's actually, the film is on there. Um, so I'm gonna do this side now. So that's your template. Cut your template out of paper. Um, you know, just draw around. If, 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 if you're going over edges, sort of press down on the edges and you can mark the paper, get what you want out of it. Um, so that's that top piece. Once you've got your template, this is the actual film itself. It's only a very small piece I've got. Um, A3M stone chip paper. So lay that out, get your template over the back, obviously. Draw around it and then cut it out. I feel like I'm working for Blue Peter now. Here's one I made earlier. So draw around and then basically get cutting. It's like arts and crafts at school, this. Now make sure you have a, a suitable adult present when using scissors. There we go, that's some mighty fine scissor work. So come back over to the bike, get your bit of paper, check the fit, check the fit is all right. So that's gonna go like that. And if you just make sure it's just close to the edge, I think that's pretty good actually. Now, the important thing is to get things clean. So get uh, a nice bit of cloth, make sure you've got no dust, no dirt, no flies on your paintwork. Um, next thing you need is water. There we are. So you need water, so spray liberally water onto the area. Also spray liberally water onto the, uh, onto the tape peel off the backing without trying to fold the bit too much. Obviously make sure you've got clean hands as well because you don't want to get any dust or anything behind the paper. So do it in a, a clean environment. Spray that sticky side. Take your piece of film and then you can move it around to a degree depending how much water you've used. But lay it on top not too tight, just gently to see if it looks about right, and that I'd say that does. Take a credit card, or ideally a, a rubber squeegee, you know, and I have to, uh, have to press it on, but this will have to do, it's all I've got, and then work out from the middle, work your way outwards, forcing the water and any bubbles out with the, uh, out with it. So like that. Keep it like that. Oh yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. And you won't get them all out, but they do they do come out over time. And then once you've got the majority out, get your clean bit of rag again and do the same thing with the rag. Making sure the edges are stuck down. If the edges don't take very well, which they sometimes don't, you can use a hairdryer and just heat it and it'll activate the the glues. So yes, it's lifting slightly there. So I may have to get my uh, my heat gun on that. I do not own a hairdryer because I have no hair. 
especially at the moment, I'm sporting a new sleek haircut, which the, which the missus hates. So there we are. So that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good, actually. What I'll do now is put my mounting bolt back on. So I've got a little reamer here. You could use a, a drill bit, you know, not in a drill, but just a sharp drill bit. Just pierce that film, film like so. Get my bolt and put him back in place where he was. So there we are. So that's that piece on. That piece on. So the secret is not to try and do a big piece at a time and not to try and bend over too many surfaces because it does get tricky if you're trying to uh, trying to bend it. If trying to bend it like Beckham. It won't work. So push it down. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good for that piece. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So next bit now, like that it will be. It's like a name of a movie. So run that. So then cut out your. Uh, this is just plain paper for now, just to make sure my template is the right size. There we are. So there's the template, hold it up again. I think that's fine, so I'll cut that out out of the, out of the, uh, the stone chip stuff now. Okay, marked it out, cut it out, and now I've cocked up, because that is the wrong side now, see? I've done it the wrong way around. So this is going to have to be for the other side. Take two, side number two. So here we are. So check your template again. The right side of the bike this time is always handy. I know, ice cream man. He's keen, he's keen. We may have to have an ice cream break in a minute. So yeah, I'm pushing that around the edge of the guard there to give me that edge. So I can see where that's folded. I'll cut up that edge. Like so. So I think that that I think will do the job. So get your water. Spray liberally with water. Both sides, remember. Peel off the backing. Like that. Spray again. Because that does give you the option to move it around a bit before it sticks. Try and get it on. Get it on. See, if you don't get it on fairly quick and you handle it too much, it'll look like shite when you're done. Fortunately, because of my this carbon Kevlar weave, it's quite forgiving. It hides a lot of uh, poor craftsmanship. No, that's no good. We may have to abort. We may have to abort here. This is not going well. I think I should have started here. So get your or somebody else's credit card. Not the best how this is this isn't a how-to video, this is how not to video. I wouldn't say I was good at this, did I? This is my first how not to video. There we are, well it's going on. Let me get my bit of cloth. Close but no cigar. What we do is just trim it a bit. It's so much better to do the trimming and it's at the paper stage. Oh dear, it's a balls up. I think I'd rather have stone chips than this on there. <laughs> Little points like that where it's not quite stuck down is we get a bit of heat on it with my heat gun on a low setting. And we'll just do a little bit here like that, we'll just activate that glue. There we go. And you add a little bit where it's just wants a bit of taking in right there at the top. 
Go around like that. Just apply the heat and then take it away because you don't want to burn. You can burn this film. Bit of heat, take it away. That'll just really activate that glue around the edges. And these edges here. And I struggled a little bit. And it makes the film shrink slightly as well, the heat obviously. Slight bit of shrinkage. There we are. Stone chip film applied. I mean you can remove it. When you've had enough of it, you can you can peel it up or you can if it won't come very easily, you can put a hair dry on it. Don't worry too much if it's not quite as you were expecting when you finish because, uh, like I say, some of those bubbles will come out over time. So don't panic. But there we are. How to apply 3M stone chip film. Thank you very much.